what's up guys? Uh, I wanted to do a quick video on how to lower a C6 Corvette. I have a C6 ZR1. Um, I wanted to lower it about an inch or so. And I didn't want to do it on aftermarket bolts. I wanted to use the stock lowering bolts it came with. And so, yeah, I made this quick video. I uh, hope it helps you guys out with C6s. And I hope you guys enjoy it. All right guys, so what you need for this job is uh, two jack stands, a jack, an impact gun, a 10 millimeter ratchet or box end. Mine's a ratcheting box end wrench. I got these two two by fours right here. Um, what they're used for is to get the car up high enough that way you can clear your jack without, you know, it hitting on say your splitter or your rear diffuser and all that. But um, other than that, that's all you need. A probably a light like that would be good to help out. But uh, other than that, I mean, very simple. You don't need much to do it. And like I said, I, you don't need an impact gun. I just used it just because it's faster to get the wheels off. But, uh, yeah, that's all you need. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it in stock form. It's about 27 and a half. There. Up front, we'll say 26 and a quarter up front. I'll check this side. I can push that carpet down. And about the same side um, over here, which it should be. It should be close. 27 and three quarters. So low to get a jack underneath it. So I do this, and then right there. And I'll drive up on that. That way I can get my. It's a low pro jack, but it still don't fit underneath it. All right, so we are up on these. Now I can fit the jack under there. I'll take this front tire off after it's jacked up. I'm just going to go ahead and do the front first and then I'll, I'll go to the back. Alright, so we're going to take out the front wheels. That's the bolt right there. There's a little rubber piece on the bottom of that. That's what pushes on the control arm. This one's, this is actually in your leaf spring. so. Backing that out counterclockwise is going to lower the car, so I'm going to back it out all the way. Jack stand there, which you can see that it's actually taking the pressure off the leaf spring. That way that bolt doesn't have pressure on it, so it's easy to back out. Alright, so there it is. I backed it all the way out counterclockwise. So that's as low as it's going to go on stock bolts. Put my wheels back on the front, get the jack out, lower it back down, go to the back, and start on the back. All right, so I'm gonna back it off these, off the wood there. I'm gonna use that wood, and I'm gonna put it on the rears. Uh, the new diffuser goes down too low, so my, you know, if I lower this car anymore, that low, po low pro jack's gonna hit it and crack it, so I'm gonna need that extra, like, you know, four inches or so to be able to clear that jack once it's lowered, so. All right, so I got the jack stand right there underneath the driver's side leaf spring. And I got the other one on the other side, the passenger side. So I'm gonna lower the car onto that. It's gonna take the pressure off the, the lowering bolts so they'll back out easier. All right. So I went ahead and lowered them all the way down in the, in the rear too. So I'm gonna see what happens. If it's too low, I'll, I'll bump them up a, a turn or so afterward, after the car settles and all that. But. I'm gonna see how it looks right now. 
Um, so I'm gonna put the tires, wheels and tires back on and lower it back down and see how it looks. You can definitely tell it's lower, it hasn't settled yet, obviously. The front has settled a lot more. You can tell it's lower. I mean, I can barely fit my fingers up there now. Back there, definitely lower. I'm not gonna measure it. Still hasn't settled, but uh, you can tell it's lower. I mean, that's not lowered. You might be able to tell that though. Very dirty. So yeah, as you guys can see, it was a, a really easy uh, job. You know, it took about 40 minutes for me to do while recording. So, you know, it, it's a very easy job. You don't have to be mechanically inclined or anything like that. Um, but yeah, for those of you with C6s, I hope this really helped you guys. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. There's gonna be a lot more install videos and like how-to videos on this channel as well with the Duramax <clears throat> and the C6. So um, yeah, if you guys aren't already subscribed, please do. I'm doing a giveaway at tw uh, 2,000 subscribers. We're actually getting pretty close and I'm giving away an LED uh, tailgate light bar. But it's from Recon and uh, 2,000, I'll be giving that away for the subscribers. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I, yeah,